All right, everybody. Eric here again. I posted a video a few days ago of some of the updates we got on the Tesla Hummer truck. Tesla, did I just say Tesla Hummer truck? Okay, sorry. Wow. Might as well be. Uh, no, just kidding. All right. No, on the Hummer, GMC Hummer electric vehicle truck that we saw more details at at CES. And everybody's going, just give me my electric pickup. Anyway, let's talk about it today. Got some more details on both, what you're going to see, what the differences are, and what's the reality of, of the usability. Anyway, please, if this brings you value, like, share, please hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. I appreciate it. Love doing these ones, especially the technical ones. Uh, this channel's normally about, you know, how you can make money through tech. This one's probably going to be about how you can spend or lose money through tech. All right. So the Cybertruck versus, and it's, the Cybertruck's a Tesla truck, was announced uh, almost two years ago uh, versus the EV Hummer, okay? That just got announced about four or six months ago. So let's talk about how this all went down. All right, so back, back up on this. So Tesla obviously been doing electric cars for almost 10 years now. I've got one. The thing is fast. I've got a Model S, and when you put that pedal down, it... It grind is just back in your seat. It, it is crazy. Probably the worst investment I've ever done, considering that's a hundred and some thousand dollar car. And if I would have bought the stock instead of the car, it'd be worth close to I think a couple million dollars by now, if not more. So take that with a grain of salt. Um, but still, cool car. The autopilot's probably kept me safe and kept me alive. So take you know there, there's some good and take you know give and take there. But anyway, okay. So the Cybertruck. I walked in coming in from work, this was like 2019, November, and I saw Elon Musk doing his thing, and I'm like, all right, that looks cool. Didn't see the whole break into the window thing and, you know, the glass gate that they, you know, he wasn't supposed to break the window. But anyway, I bought two. I was like, all right, bam. I got the, I pre-ordered the tri-motor one, which we'll talk about the differences, and I, and I pre-ordered the, um, what the heck is it called, the single motor one. The tri-motor one is due out this year. By the way, it's 2021. Try motor one, they're saying November, December, but Elon Musk tends to overpromise uh, timeline. So I would be shocked if I see that car uh, this year. But anyway, super cool. A uh, couple hundred dollars to depo or deposit to do it. And from what we can tell from the pre order numbers, there's a good chance that they've pre ordered close to 500,000 of these things. Again, it's just a guess but it's pretty real. I mean, there's a lot in line. So if you've got a pre-order for the Cybertruck, you could be waiting years. Just saying. If you're getting the tri-motor one, could be within the next year. So kind of cool stuff. So they were first. They announced it in Elon Musk fashion. It looks cool. Don't know if it's going to look like the one we're, we're seeing. Don't know if it's going to be the same dimensions because it won't fit in a garage. And so they're talking about they making it a little bit smaller so it'll fit in people's garage. It's too tall, too wide, too long. You know, it's kind of its coolness, but if it won't fit in somebody's garage, it won't fit in somebody's garage. And it's not practical because you can't charge it unless it goes in the garage for most people. All right, so that's the background of that one. All right, um, the Hummer one. So it's cool. It looks like an old school Hummer that's a pickup, but it's electric. And they just announced that a few months ago. And... There are some cool features to it. Like they, they've got a rumble when you, you, you lock it down and it, have, it has like a launch mode. And the they've got the stereo to where it rumbles and it feels like it's got all this buildup and muscle and then just boom, it just goes. Um, it, it looks cool. Uh, it, it looks like a normal car that's now electric. Uh, they're saying it's going to be out later this year too. So we don't know. But there are some cool differences here. And I want to talk about the differences in the vehicles because I think that's important. And then at the end of this, we'll talk about the price. And I think that's going to be the real shocker here. Uh, so let's talk about the differences. Both of them, I mean, we're within a couple of milliseconds of each other. We'll do 0 to 60. And I'm comparing the tri-motor to the tri-motor because the GM Hummer one is only a tri-motor. They're, you know, they're, they're top of the line cars coming out this year. That's it. So we're comparing top of the line tri-motor Tesla that's going to be out this year to top of the line GM, GMC uh, Hummer. So it's apples to apples. All right. Zero to 60, both of them are within two to three seconds, if not, you know, right, right in there. Most, they're under three. It's like 2.8 seconds, zero to 60, which is fast. I don't know why you need a car like that that's going that fast. The Tesla Model S is almost that fast. 
and I rarely use it. But when you do, it, hold on. All right, so we've got that going for us. The, the tri-motors on both of them are right around 1,000 horsepower. Uh, that That's a lot. That, 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 that's, a, that's a lot of torque and horsepower all built into there. Again, not sure you need that, but it sounds cool. Uh, the sound I kind of talked about on the Hummer, the Teslas now they have to make them when they're below a certain speed to have kind of a noise so they don't hit pedestrians. But other than that, it is just silent. So kind of, kind of keep that in mind. The range is important. And why the range is important is, so I think my Model S will go about 250 miles range before charging and that's rated it actually does a little less than that you know because my car is never empty uh you know i never go slower than the speed limit things like that so it doesn't go as far as the, it, it says it is when it's rated but the tesla uh, will do 500 miles this is just the tri-motor keep in mind this is the expensive one the tri-motor one will do 500 miles of range that is insane that is a long distance when you see the lines at the superchargers and things like that, you could bypass half of them. I mean, 500 miles. Granted, real world's probably closer to 400, but that's some range. You could go from Phoenix, Arizona to San Diego without stopping to charge. That is huge. That is huge. Uh, the the GMC truck, the uh, the Hummer, it's about 350 miles, which is still pretty good. And, I mean, that's, that's better than my Model S, and I go all over the place with my Model S, but... Still not quite 500 miles. I mean, that, that's that's substantial. Right now, as far as I know, there is no 500-mile uh, range electric vehicle on the market today. So this will be a, a game changer. You know, why I think, and this is just an opinion, some guy on YouTube, why I think that uh, Tesla's been a game charger, changer is, is the charging network. Their charging network, like, so from going from Phoenix to Las Vegas, you have to stop to charge. Even at 250 miles, it doesn't make it. And so you can charge up from zero to full in about 40 minutes and then make it all the way. And there's these charging networks everywhere. They're, they're within 100 miles of each other just about everywhere. And it's been a game changer. It's why people, we used to call range anxiety. You weren't sure if you are going to make it or have a place to, you couldn't just pull off for gas. You couldn't, not everywhere you can charge. So it's range anxiety, wondering if you're going to make it to your destination is a real thing. The Tesla charging network has alleviated that for most people. Most people buying a Tesla today don't have that problem. GMC is a new product, a new electric product, and they, they support some charging standards. But I can tell you, like, in Kingman, Arizona, where there's a supercharger, there is no regular charger or charging network. So in the Hummer, if you weren't fully charged and you didn't watch your speed and you didn't watch heating and all these other things, you may not make it all the way and there may not be a place for you to stop and recharge. Uh, that's going to be a concern. And so the next real competition for Tesla in that space is going to have to come out or make a deal with Tesla to, to use the charging network. The charging network is a game changer. So that's gonna be a problem um, for any manufacturer coming out. And they're talking about F-150s that are battery operated. They're talking about all of these, like this is like the year, maybe next year, will be the year of the electric pickup. But if they don't figure out this charging network, it's not gonna make it. And so that's why Tesla has the leg up in this space is they've already got an existing network and this is just gonna be compatible with it. All right. Autopilot. As I said earlier in the video, autopilot is a game changer. Um, it's probably saved my life a million times just because, you know, you just don't know. You, you, you know, going through weather, steering at night, looking for objects, staying, you know, in your lane. It works. It works phenomenal. And mine's a few years old and this technology is getting even better. The Tesla Cybertruck is supposed to have full self-driving technology built into it. It's probably an add-on. Well, we know it's an add-on. But it's there. You can buy the vehicle with the hardware and turn it on later. Self-driving, fully self-driving uh, technology is going to be a game changer. I mean, we are not going to drive cars in the near future. You're not going to get licenses. I don't know about the near future, but you're not going to get licenses. You're not going to, you know, people that are maybe 10 years old now, eh, maybe 5 years old now, are probably not going to get driver's license. Their cars are going to drive themselves. So this is so future looking. GMC's got one, but it's more of a assistant or assist version 
there's no real details on how it works or what it does, but it, it kind of get the feeling it's like Tesla's autopilot version two. Again, don't quote me on that, but uh, I, you know Tesla's taken some serious risks to get their autopilot way out there. And you got to realize, I think they came out with it in 2014. I mean, they've been doing um, self-driving in a sense for almost seven years now. That's that's a lot of experience that a lot of companies are just barely been dipping their toes in. This is a huge piece. And I know I sound like I'm leaning towards the, the Cybertruck here uh, because I think that the Hummer may be out first. Uh, one thing I think that's really cool with the Hummer is they have four wheel steering. So I'm a huge off-roader. I love off-roading. Uh, this four wheel steering, I mean, that'll get you around some corners and, and get you back in there some areas. That is super cool. I remember the old Dodge Stealths that had the four wheel steering and it was a performance thing. But for having four wheel steering, not not drive, steering is, is gonna be a game changer for off-roading. But the kind of price tags of these cars, I'm not sure that I would wanna take them off-road anyway. So keep that in mind. These both are gonna be awesome off-roaders. But I don't know if I might be too nervous. We call it in Arizona, Arizona pinstriping. Can't imagine having a brand new expensive car like this and taking it off-road. These are gonna be Starbucks, uh, parking lot queens for a while, I think. That's just, you know, I'm a big Lexus off-roader thing. And, and a lot of people are like, oh yeah, I went to go get my Starbucks coffee in my four by four. And it, they got to get older before people feel comfortable taking them off-road. I think that's what's going to happen here. So, all right. The big thing that everybody wants to hear, the price. Here's why I'm le leaning Tesla. Uh, and again, I think it's gonna come out later, but I think there's very few uh, GMC Hummer electric vehicles that are gonna come out this year. Like all the pre-orders are done, like they're they're out. Um, so the, 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 the Hummer, the electric Hummer starts at $113,000. Uh, that's a lot of money for a, for a vehicle. I know that's kind of in line with the old Hummer and things like that. And you know, it's a luxury item and it's a, it's a show of, of wealth and how cool you are, but that same Tesla that we're talking about, which is the, the three or tri-motor, is gonna be around $69,000, with the entry-level single motor being under $40,000. It's almost, that's, it, for, the, for the comparative things, it's almost double. That's huge. I mean, it's gonna be hard when you say that, uh, you know, the, the Hummer, which is a brand new, they're brand new to this market, is going to be double the price of the Tesla Cybertruck. Even if you think the Tesla Cybertruck is ugly. Yeah, that's that's a lot of money difference. I mean, uh, I don't know. I'm leaning Tesla Cybertruck. That's why I've got two on order. Uh, but uh, we'll see when they get here. Uh, I'm excited for this year. I can't believe it's it's been two years since the announcement already almost. And we're talking about seeing them this year. So... Anyway, that's the comparison there. Hopefully you have one in mind in an order. It will be the year, maybe towards the end of the year, or next year for the electric trucks. And will they perform the same as they do, you know, gas to do off-road? Are they gonna provide the same benefits, towing capacities? We don't know yet. We're, we're just gonna have to see. I think it's gonna be a new world, but they're coming. So not sure I would buy a gas pickup truck this year. That's for sure. Anyway, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something. I love this stuff. I will talk more about it when I get more information or maybe when my reservation's ready to go. I'm pretty excited. Uh, again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.